my name is Erin East. I'm a training specialist with Keysight Technologies. In today's technical clip, I'm going to show you how to verify all available N4903B licenses are correctly installed. It is important to make sure that both of your network interfaces on the N4903B are enabled. The N4903B software links the licenses to a physical address of one of the interfaces. If both of the network interfaces are disabled, the JBIRT licenses might disappear. To start, I will have both of my network cards enabled. To verify your network settings, simply open the Start menu, select the Control Panel, scroll down in the Control Panel until you find Network Connections. When you open Network Connections, you will see your two local area connections. We can see now that my first network is connected. My second network is not connected because the cable for that network is unplugged. This is fine. Neither of your cards actually has to be connected to the network in order for your licenses to be active. More simply, both of your cards have to be enabled. To ensure both of your cards are enabled, simply right-click on the connection and verify that the first option available is Disable. Repeat this step for your second connection. We can see here my second connection is enabled as well. To view your licenses, you simply have to open the N4900 series firmware and GUI. To open the firmware, double-click on the firmware icon on the desktop. You will see this appear in your bottom toolbar on your desktop. To open the GUI, double-click the GUI icon. When this loads, select the GUI in your bottom toolbar in order to see the main page of the GUI. To view the licenses, we simply have to open the main menu, Utility, and select Licenses. In the Licenses window, we can see that the status of the majority of my licenses currently says Installed. That's because I have already purchased them. Also take note that my host ID or MAC address is currently listed as a sequence that ends in 3D8. Take notice to the note that is under my MAC address that states license handling is only available when both network interface cards are enabled. Many times users will disable the second connection as they do not need it to be connected to the network. Let's take a look at what happens when I do that. To see how this will affect my licenses, I have to close out of both the N4900 series GUI and firmware. To close out of the GUI, I go into the main menu and select File. The last option is Exit. Once the GUI closes, you will see this window appear. Select Yes in order to terminate the firmware as well. I am now going to go back into my network connection window to view my connection settings. To disable my second connection, I simply have to right click on local area connection 2 and select disable. Now we can see that my second connection is in fact disabled. To view my licenses, we must reload the firmware by selecting the firmware icon on the desktop. and again reload the GUI by double selecting the GUI icon. Once the GUI has loaded, I can find these licenses by again going into the main menu and selecting Utility. We can then select Licenses in order to view the Licenses window. In the Licenses window, we can see that the status of the majority of my licenses now says Not Installed even though we saw they are in fact installed. Also take note that my host ID or MAC address is now listed in a sequence that ends in 3D7. The MAC address of the network card when the licenses were showing as installed ended in 3D8. To always ensure that the status of your license keys remains as installed, you simply have to verify that both of your local area connections are enabled in your network connection settings. 
If there are any other questions regarding your N4903B licenses, please be sure to contact your local Keysight representative.